Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we are playing My Sims, which looks like an abomination to be honest. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be good, it's just it looks kind of scary. <laughs> I'm telling you, they are way too happy. They're definitely not my sims anyway, <laughs> despite the title. Oh, I need a nunchuck. I hate using the nunchuck. I'll be back when I get my nunchuck. Uh, fine. Let's use a nunchuck. I've never played any of these my sims games. I don't think I've ever played a sims game on the Wii, so I'm very interested on how this is gonna be. My town is simply gonna be called Feck. They couldn't think of a name, and they just got frustrated and were like, Feck. And then the guy was like, oh, okay, Feck it is. It's a pretty unique town, to tell you the truth. I'd expect it with a name like that. This is how Feck used to be, full of life, personality, and happy sims. And then I came along. Oh yes, I had to make a sim. Fantastic. This is gonna be clunky as a heck, isn't it? Oh, sorry for using the heck word. I don't normally pull that out, but I'm just, you know, really a why did I not read how to do this? Why can I never just stop and read? Why are my eyes Pac-Man? I already look deranged and I'm not even trying. Oh my god. Hey, I'm an escaped prison convict. <laughs> okay, he looks so fucking scary. Like some sort of predator for sure. Okay, that's somehow even better. I love this. He's up to something. I was about to say his eyes are too far apart, but I think that's the least of his worries, to be honest. Select a voice and then the pitch. Okay. Duxa? That's fitting, I think. Uh, what's his name? Sim. I think that's... That's actually very fitting, just Sim. No one bothered to name him because nobody cared. Welcome to Feck, let's <laughs> just imagine a really thick accent. Welcome to Feck, let's go to Town Hall and let Mayor Rosalind know that you're here. I, oh my god, this is so scary. I'm not even walking, this is just him. Why is he walking like that? Don't wave at me. You don't know the danger you're in. Oh, I can control him now, fantastic. He's walking into furniture here while they're teaching me how to play. Oh my god, my guy knows nothing about personal space. That must be such a scary sight from her point of view. Well, if it isn't Sim. <laughs> oh yeah, that was me talking. <laughs> I forgot he sounded like that. Oh my god, he's looking for his first victim. You can see it in his eyes. They're giving me a free house apparently, which I'm really grateful for. I hope it's nice. Oh god, you idiot. <laughs> You're gonna be my first victim. I'm gonna clean up this town one way or another. Yeah. What the hell? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Did you actually realize what I looked like? But, uh, don't act embarrassed. She's like, oh no, there's no house here. It was totally a house here earlier. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> well, you're a good builder, so let's try building it now. She's just making me build houses for them. This is your workspace for your house. You can stack blocks here up to two stories high. I'm good to go. I don't need to know more. What is the purpose of this? I don't need to know more. Every wall space is filled with a window because I want to be able to see the entire neighborhood at all times. And we're going to need lots of chimneys for the crematorium. <laughs> Look at the roof. It's just fucking floating there. Fantastic. I thought the house was going up in flames. I was like, uh, probably for the best. <laughs> oh, it's not cute, geeky, studious, spooky, tasty, but it's a whole lot of fun. <laughs> well, actually, no, it's one fifth of a whole lot of fun. All right, I think we're done. Oh, wait, no, 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 we're not actually. All right, done. Let's see what the mayor has to say about that. She's gonna love it. Wow, that's quite a house. You really are a talented builder. Like, he's just standing there drooling, just slumping down. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he does have a fucking clue. Like, even the way he runs, you can tell there's something off. I'm sure, like, I'm 100% positive they've got the wrong guy here. They've heard he's some epic builder, but I don't think he's even human. She told me to get some apples, so I'm just going to town, just knocking down the trees instead of shaking them. I don't think there's even one in here, but we're gonna feckin' chop it anyway. Oh, this one's dying. We can chop that down. I'll just take a bit less pleasure in it. Wait, stomp? What does that do? Why can't I stomp on it? Wait, no, don't no, plant a tree. <laughs> That's the opposite of what I want to do. What is he doing now? <laughs> He's using a metal detector, even though you can clearly see that they're there. All right, we're just gonna move on from that and chop down some more trees. More people. If I were a betting man, I'd say there was more chance of this guy chopping down people. Look at that house. Can I go inside? Yeah, enter. I want to see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did a great job on the inside without even realizing. God, I'm talented. I'm walking into walls again. Just another quirky part of his personality. <laughs> he sounds like a child and everything with that voice. <laughs> well, now I'm gonna catch pneumonia and die. Where do I find more apples? Maybe I shouldn't have knocked down all the apple trees. Why is there music coming from your house? Keep it down. This is the neighborhood watch. As in, I watch the neighborhood at night <laughs> through your windows. Hi, <laughs> maybe lock your door next time. Yo, Sim, I love apples. Okay, <laughs> is that all we're gonna talk about? Could I have some of these apples? 
Did he just wash the sink after I used it? <laughs> That's a bit rude. He doesn't have a bed. I wanted to go for a little nap. Sleep until night. <laughs> I don't even know this person. <laughs> I just got to sleep in their living room. Your couch is horrible for sleeping on. Oh wait, this is also getting me red essence. This is way easier than collecting apples. Give me red. Give me red. Get out of my way. I need red. Jesus Christ, you just know by the look on his face he's about to murder him. Bob and Norpa. Yeah, Bob and Norpa. Now hand over your reds. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. I got enough. All right, great. I'm out of here. See you later, Patrick. I'll be back when I need to sleep or bully someone. I can fish. Oh, fantastic. Do I have him? Oh, yes. I got, I got fish. Okay, I'm done fishing. I don't like it. Jesus, I'm not going in there. They might put up a fight for to pick on defenseless people, you know? I really think she gave me this task just to keep me out of the way because I can't find any apples. It's just keeping me busy so I'm not, like, killing people. Look at them all with their sunglasses on and everything. Can I sleep until morning? I, I should have slept in that other guy's house, I know, but there's just a, a spooky vibe around town. I know I'm probably the one giving it off, but it's just too much to handle. Oh, okay, now I'm all wet again. <laughs> That's his version of fishing, I suppose. I slept until morning but it didn't work. I think he might not be tired enough. <laughs> oh, a bit of a nightmare. Did you dream about yourself? There's a reason you have no mirrors in this house. All right, we have to find apples. It's really important for the mayor. <laughs> oh no, and the menu, he looks even worse. I have five. How do I get more? I might try just planting some and see will that work. <laughs> Okay, that's what he does with stomp. He just stomps it back into the ground. <laughs> that is some serious power. Even more reason to fear him. Ah, yes. I'm doing my part for Team Trees. You know, I'm the one who chopped them all down in the first place. But look, some of them were old and dying. I was doing a good deed. I just disguised it to seem cool in front of you. Yeah, I bet that worked. <laughs> I usually just go to like biker joints and like walk up to people as they smoke a few cigs and just go, hey, on my sims, I cut down trees for God knows what reason. Yeah. Okay, apple. Fantastic. I think the trees are nervous. They're shaking around me. <laughs> I guess they know what I did to the previous trees. Oh, I'm fertilizing the tree. Apparently it gives a burst of essence, but it also damages the tree. But yet here we are, <laughs> fertilizing anyway. Okay, Mayor, I got 10 apples. <laughs> Your important task is complete. <laughs> She's like, uh, uh, yeah, we need um, uh, lemons. <laughs> Go get some uh, lemons. Oh, just gotta keep them busy, keep them busy. We'll use them later to build something for the town hall. What, a pyramid of apples? <laughs> we built you a workshop. Oh, you wouldn't leave me build it myself, would you? After you saw what I'm capable of. Yeah. What the hell is wrong with you? Why do you keep getting shocked? You clearly are filled in with the situation. Looks like we got to build the workshop too. <laughs> You're useless. All right, this one I need privacy with. So just an old shack will do quite well, I think. No windows, please. We're done. <laughs> How exciting. It's just a box. I built a chair. Is that what you wanted? Are you happy now? They literally just got themselves a village idiot to do all these tasks they're too lazy to do. Good thing he breathes down everyone's necks. <sighs> I feel like I should keep an eye on my door when I sleep, so I'm just gonna place that in front of the door. I want to make something myself. Like, I want to uh, just freedom to make something out of that anger essence that I gathered. What were you doing back there? <laughs> Why are you in my house? All right, into the workshop. Let's see what I can make out of all this anger. <laughs> I hope it's a boxing bag shaped like Patrick. All right, we're gonna make it out of anger. I don't understand what... Are we just gonna make it out of pure anger? This is feckin' art. Yeah, this is feckin' art. I love this. It's like some cursed totem pole. What the is this dark wood. Okay, yeah, just put some of that onto it for no reason whatsoever. It's just floating there. And one of these fish that I found earlier. God damn, I'm good at modern art. You like this, Patrick? <laughs> it's made out of your anger. You must cover all of the stars with blocks. Oh, just this one. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. There we go. I put a little fish on it. Okay, we're done now. Can I put this in Patrick's house just to taunt him or can it only go in my own house? Oh, he's my next door neighbor. <laughs> the poor fecker. <laughs> Loser. All right, can I put this out? No, don't throw it away. Oh, I can't place it. All right, Patrick, I'll see you around. Sooner rather than later. Sleep with one eye open, punk. You never should have crossed me. <laughs> He's like, I didn't do anything. I love how the path doesn't even lead to my door. It's just completely off center. But that is the least of my house's worries, to be fair. <laughs> Wait, I can paint with my essences? How do I paint out of anger? <laughs> my whole house is made out of anger. It just makes flames. Fantastic. God, that is the tackiest thing I've ever seen in my life, but we're done. 
<laughs> it looks like a 12 year old's house. Now the anger sculpture can go over here. <laughs> oh my god, it's on fire and everything. He's definitely trying to summon something. He's probably trying to summon Jim. Which room is the bathroom gonna be? Probably there. I'll put a window into the living room. It's 2% tasty and 3% fun apparently. I don't know what's tasty about this. I don't know, maybe the walls remind you of barbecue sauce. Give me apples, I need them. I've got a plan. See, I gave the village a blessing with all these apples. I'm so good to them. They're actually blessed to have me. Well, blessed and cursed. It's a blurst. <laughs> My blurst sim. Oh, God damn it! I can't plant anything. I wanted to surround his house with apple trees. I'm gonna drown myself in the lake now that I can't plant apples around his house. Imagine he looked out and he could just see this head looking up at him. Oh my God, he's feckin' terrifying. Look at him. <laughs> he's just stalking the village. What did the mayor want me to do next? I actually cannot remember. No tasks. Well, guess I'll start trespassing. <laughs> Let's find someone's house. Hello. Oh, the mayor wants to see me, apparently. I think that was just an excuse to get me out of your house. But still, I'll go see her. I like how it gives me the tip when I'm already in the town hall. Like, oh, don't forget to go see the mayor. I could use that tip earlier. I really need a podium so I can practice my important speeches. Okay, again, I have no idea why I'm doing this for you, but I'll do it. I don't understand. A podium? What do I have? I have wood to make a podium, and I have apples. Will that help at all? Yes. <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> some apples on the side to give you a bit of protection against would-be assassins. By adding apples to the podium, you've made it tastier. Sims that like tasty things will like the object more. I don't think anyone's gonna like this object more. Oh, I hope I can make stuff and just give them to people and then they'll put them in their houses. I'm gonna make so many uh, Patrick angry sculptures. There you go, there's your apple podium. I hope you like it. Oh, Sim, it's perfect. She's just too afraid to say anything else. Look at that. That is just that is just awful. I'm so happy. Why don't you check on Poppy? I tried to visit her and she just kicked me out. She's like, oh, the mayor needs you, but you better go. <laughs> she was too scared. She's probably filed a restraining order in the meantime. I'm gonna make Patrick a bed because he doesn't have one and I feel bad for my enemy. He must cover all the stairs, but I've covered them all with apples. I don't have anything else. Okay, he won't take it made out of wood either. He's, he's too picky. I can't do this. Okay, there we go. I made him a table. He better feckin' use it or I'm gonna kill him. Come here, Patrick. I got a gift for you. <laughs> Why you would answer to the door, I have no idea. All right, give stuff. Oh, I even get to place it. Oh my god, this game is amazing. Here's your new dining table, Patrick. I'm gonna put it here in the way of that sink. He seems to like using that sink a lot. <laughs> he doesn't know what to make of it. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know either. <laughs> oh god, you can still use the sink, but now I'm trapped inside it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh wait, hold on, I can get out this side. All right, you can still make it into your sink, Patrick. Don't be so bitchy all the time. Make him angry. I need some anger points. Okay, perfect. I'll make something out of that and bring it back to you, Patrick. Thank you. All right, I think we've made him angry enough for one day. I think we're gonna end it there. But if you want to see more of this, please let me know because this game, I imagine, has some serious potential to feck around with. Like the village is literally called Feck. Come on, that's gotta be a sign. That's such a coincidence. But I do hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you watching, as always, folks. I do hope to see you next time, but bye for now.